golfers welcome back to the channel alan and we're out here doing a little bit of a what i'm going to call a blind round i've got absolutely no idea where i'm at in relation to par i'm not keeping track of my score andy's doing that for us there's nice. andy saying hi hi andy <laughs> hate that guy. Uh, and right now we you know, came off the front nine and we felt really, really positive about how we were striking the ball. Approach game was a little bit off, that much is for sure. We've been hitting good contact, but we've missed a couple of opportunities to really actually get on the green in regulation and hopefully be able to follow up and score. The other part of that conversation is the times that we have gotten on in greens in regulation, we've also been a little bit wonky with some of our putts. We did score one birdie on the front nine. There's definitely a lot of scoreable opportunities in the back. This is a very weird course here at Willow Creek, just outside side Greenville as the par fives are huge and the par fives are short par threes are also a little bit long as well just to throw that in there so a lot of things to kind of consider as we go forward but let's get right into the action hole number 10 par four let's get at it all right 405 par four down the hill leaking a little bit to the right so we got driver let's get something straight up towards the 150 mark and then hopefully fading over oh it's at the driving range Saw it down. Yeah. All right, so we're just barely off the driving range here. Uh, scared. Uh, we've got about 136, you said, something like that to the middle? Yeah, 152 to the middle, actually. 152 to the middle. Okay, I'm going to hit a pitching wedge here just because I feel like I need to get it up over this tree. So it might not be enough club, but we'll see. So right, Alan. Shut the face, you forehead. And very weird par fours out here. 362 is the distance. Straight up the hill a little bit. Uh, you can kind of see those collection of trees all the way in the distance. There's a bunker on the right side that's guarding the flag at the moment. So we still got driver. We just got to put something in the middle of the fairway here. Distance is not a necessity. I can feel it in my hand. All right, we went on a play, uh, so we're dropping two, hitting three. At least as far as we could tell, I didn't see it. I haven't found it yet. Sand wedge, about 100 yards, a little over that, about 103 to the pin. That's so fat, God. All right, tough sand shot here. Lots of green to play with, but we got to get out of the bunker first and foremost. Oof. Get up. Nice shot. Nope. Not bad. No, you had a really good read on that. Yeah, it broke a lot more than I thought it was going to. Bruh. No chance I just did that. Bruh. <laughs> when you push and pull on the same putt. <laughs> Over correction city. All right, got to recover after a triple right there. Again, I'm not keeping score of my overall, so I don't know where I'm at in relation to par. You guys will, I will not. Uh, but a par three here, it's playing about mid 170s. 175 is what I picked up. Back right pin position, so it might be actually a little bit further than that, but I'm still going to play kind of a safe uh, and strong seven iron here. Foul. We'll get him next time. Man, I, I've been feeling so good standing over these putts. It's a good bar, though. Thank you. Man. A nice recovery par there in the par three, but this is where we really need to be 
building back up our confidence. Dog leg to the right, we could still hit driver here, 408, par four all the way at the back. I don't know if I said that or not, but I'm playing back at the golds, which is like 6,800 total. So uh, that's what we've been dealing with today. But another kind of weird wonky par four, we're gonna kind of aim over towards just the left side of that furthest left tree on the right side. You get that, you catch all that? Didn't catch in the center of the face, but it went straight. Yeah, it should still hold the fairway left side. All right, we got 162 kind of to the middle of the green, which is about where the pin is. It's kind of hugging the left side over towards that bunker, which is guarding. So we definitely do not want to flirt with that. We're trying to hit something right in the middle of the green. Got eight iron. Son of a... Oh, bad contact. Caught it off the toe and it just went right on me the whole way. So now we have to get up and down here for par. Kind of a tricky shot. There is a lot of green to play with, but this green is kind of sloping away. So I'm just trying to carry that mound in front of the green and hopefully something will just kind of roll over towards the hole. Not enough. It was the right idea. Slow down. Hey, run away from me, why don't you? Falling apart with short game. Dude, what am I doing right now? Bro. Oh. That's a hole that will kill around right there after a nice drive into the fairway. Decent second shot, just pulled it a little bit right. Two chips, four putts, not good. Uh, it's about 260 to the corner here, steep dog leg to the left. It's another par four playing about 382 overall. So we're hitting five wood here off the tee box. Just need to get it over to the corner. Nice shot. That's a little right, but it should be good. Yeah. Great shot. Thank you. All right, so a great drive there. That's a great way to recover. About 155-ish to the pin, but we're playing uphill and there's a great backstop back there. So we're clubbing up to an eight iron. Gonna hit and just a nice smooth swing. Let's not catch this one off the toe. Jesus, I'm not hitting the ball well at all today. All right, very poor contact with the eight, but we still have a shot at this. Very tough shot though. Got to get this up and then hopefully it kind of sits because the pin, well, I guess the pin is a little bit further back. This is a very difficult shot. That should be really good. That would be nice. Yeah, that should be really good. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> If there was any breeze out here, it would have went Oh my any god. Well, we're hitting the putts really well. There's not quite falling. Gotta stay patient. Tough bogey there, but we got a 587 par five. Big. Let's go at it. That's it. Just full send it. Jeez, that's so spinny. I think I saw it down though. So it looks like my drive actually did go a little bit further right and maybe out of play. I thought I saw it bounce back, but I don't I don't see it at the, in the immediate moment. But I really want to practice this three wood shot. So we're going to count the drop, but I am taking a drop in the fairway here because I really want to play this three wood. So here we go, three wood. No idea on the distance, just hitting three wood. Hit it well, but it's spinning right. Yeah. Oh, good kick to the left. Oh, it's still bouncing. That actually might be front side of the green. Hitting four, weird lie, mid pin. Got to carry something, hopefully with some spin, onto the green. Man, if only I could produce a back spin, that would have been so good. And instead it's on the back of the green, it's so bad. I'm so scared of the speed. The bogey 
save, I think. All right, so a bogey save there after some pretty poor shots. Again, I've got no idea where I'm at in relation to par overall for the round. I was just sitting to Andy here and asking the question. If I were to guess, I, I don't, if I'm shooting 80s, it's gonna be like an 89. I don't know if under 90s in, in the picture, which would be plus 18. I'm gonna guess right now I'm sitting at like plus 17 or something like that. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> that was the idea of this series. I'm just not, I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah. I know. I feel, you know. I feel like I'm, I'm close to that. I don't know, because I'm not, I'm just skipping to the holes on 18 birdies and looking at the distances. I'm not looking at the score at all. I'm just skipping through them. Yeah. But if I were to guess, I think just based on the fact that we had a quad, at least one triple in this round so far, I think maybe there's a second one in there. I think there is a second one in there. And I know I have one birdie in the cards. Yep. I'm going to, I'm saying that I, I wouldn't be surprised I'm sitting around like plus 17. A couple, a couple of pars, right? Three, two, two, two three. Two, three. Pars, yeah. Regardless, we're on 16 here, par three. Let's see if we can get one back. That's all we're shooting for here. Green regulation, get a birdie look. All right. Ooh, just off. Nope. Damn. Hit it again. Uh, it's a good chip, though. I thought it was going to come back. All right. We'll take the plus one. Okay, so, well, two tough chips right there. Very tough first lie. I know we couldn't see it from the camera, but tough first lie. Uh, here we go. We got 17, 4, 11 or so for the par four. Steep dog lay to the left. We're just gonna be aiming just to the left of those bunkers up in the fairway. That should be perfect. No! go left and I was like is it gonna come back I heard it I hit that absolutely perfectly I'm gonna see if it bounced in otherwise I'll just take a drop on relief so we heard an absolutely cinematic clunk wouldn't you know it it was off this tree and it's still in play baby let's go we hit that thing on the perfect very aggressive perfect <laughs> so now we've got about well, 160 ish I don't know I haven't looked at it yet but we've got a, probably about an eight iron in so we'll give you the exact distance when I step up to the ball all right, so we got 162 to the mid, 168 to the back. Not a lot of room to play with for this pin. We got eight iron. Something smooth. Let's not catch it poorly here. That was nice and fat. Just ahead of that sand. All right, Fatty McFatterson right there. Gonna have to get a sand wedge up and down. The pin leaves us a lot of green to work with, so that's the good news. We have to commit to this shot. We've been afraid of towing and blading our shots pretty much all day. Middle of the stance, open face. About three quarters swing pitch. Maybe not even that much, maybe about half swing. Kind of a good contact. Nice shot. A little right of where I wanted it. I didn't hit it again. Five. Not gonna lie, the reads that we've had in these greens in the back nine have been really, really good. Feeling great about the adjustments we made to the putter, but it's not hitting the ball hard enough. I think I'm still just mentally a little bit scared <laughs> of the fact that these greens were rolling so fast on us on the front. We got one more to figure it out. Again, I've got no idea where I'm at in relation to par. I think we're kind of bleeding towards 100 more than we are 90 right now, uh, which is whatever. We've been having a lot of fun, and honestly, outside of maybe a couple of iron shots, we've been hitting the ball pretty darn well. And well, a couple of the driver shots as well. There's a couple of things we need to figure out. That, that's pretty much all we can say. All right, friends, average golfers, we are playing a very average round, but hey, we're doing all right. Can't complain about it whatsoever, having a lot of fun. And now we've got our final hole of the video, 18. It is a 5'11 par five. We've got another deep one, but this one's got a speed slope just over the top of that middle fairway area. We're gonna be going right towards that little shady spot in the trees deep. Hopefully send it something pretty darn straight. If not, maybe we can recreate that little mini draw we just had, that'd be fun. All right, so we got another fortuitous bounce. It's SAT word right there. Gonna hit seven iron. We're not gonna obviously get there. It's a par five. It's a long way to go, but I think I can get the seven over this tree. I'm also gonna try to shut the face with this lie and get a little bit of a hook. 
So we're gonna try to shoot for the right side of this tree and get this seven iron to curve back for us. If I can pull this off, I'm the greatest golfer alive. Almost. Oh, almost. almost. It worked through though, it's in the fairway. Dude. I hit that absolutely perfectly. That's something that I, I've never practiced any kind of a shot like that. But with that slope, with that tree, I was like, I think I can kind of hook this and get into a good spot. We were really close. I'm actually really happy about that. All right, I'm right next to the 150 stick here. So we've got nine iron. That was actually not a bad job at all with that seven iron. Obviously, if we could have gotten it around the tree, we would have had a chip up. But honestly speaking, a third shot here from 150 is not terrible considering our lie. It's not enough. Caught it just a little heavy. All right, up and down for par on the cards here is what we need. Got a lot of green to play with. Should be sloping a little bit left to right. So as soon as that shade starts on the green, that's what we're shooting for. Also too much. That's it. Yeah, that spin killed it. Take that. Ah. Didn't Finally corrected the speed. Was, huh? That was a really good pace. Yeah, it's, it, it didn't break nearly as much as I thought it would have. Yeah. Oh, we'll take the six, not bad. All right, so that's the round. Bogey to finish. And honestly, outside of a couple of wonky short game moments and a couple of duffed and fat approach shots and, and a couple of poor drives, <laughs> it was an average round. <laughs> All those things combined is an average round. Andy's gonna give us the damage. Before he does, I'm gonna make a prediction. When we were on that par three, I thought I was sitting around maybe 17 over. So I'm gonna say that we finished at like a 92 with two bogeys there at the end, is what I'm gonna say. Andy, give us the damage. With two bogeys at the end, 95. 95? 95 total, 84 yeah. with this handicap. What was the front nine total? Front nine total was 46. And the back nine total was then? 49. 49, ooh. So yeah, it was that quad and that triple on the back. That really was the difference maker. Otherwise, we would have shot in 46 plus 46 is 92. Yikes. That's you still. Had a handful of doubles throughout yeah. the entirety of the 18. A couple of poor shots. A handful of penalties. That was the biggest thing. T box, a lot of penalties kind of came into play. Directionally, a couple of things to work on. Overall, not bad. The greens baffled us a little bit in the front, and then we kind of overcorrected for the back. But largely speaking, it was a really fun round. I'm actually really glad that we did that because by hole 14, if I would have known that I was about to average or like if I was on track to shoot over 90, I would have been a mental head case. I, I, I feel like I did play a pretty solid round. It just wasn't obviously as, as complete as we needed to be. Some of the things that we've worked on in the par three series did show up today. Uh, some pitches were great within 80 yards. That's awesome. Love that. But we're also still having a hard time really striking that sand wedge at a full swing. So there are some problems there, but overall a really fun round here. Big shout out to Bull Creek. Um, you know, their staff was super awesome with us throughout the whole day. There were some people who were being really boisterous, kind of complaining about filming, given that we just finished like a four hour round on the nose. So if those guys you know it was a really fun round so really happy about it we're going to be continuing to play a bunch here in the fall so if you're not already subscribed do it do it right now what are you still doing you're still watching if you're not subscribed and you're still watching you're wrong just go ahead and subscribe and we'll catch you guys right back here for the next one until that point stay perfectly average so long